How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the C8 Z06, but in today's video we're not really going to be going too in depth. Everything that I'm going to say has pretty much been said already, uh, but I want to focus on the three main things that I like the most about the C8 Z06 and also these three different aspects about this new uh, generation Z06 is truly what I think it are the best things that separate from just like a regular C8. Now before we get into today's video, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new, and also if you've already been subscribed, definitely be sure to click that little bell icon down there below. All that stuff is absolutely free, helps me out a ton as a smaller car channel here on YouTube that posts new content daily, and uh, yeah, I really do appreciate the support. I know it's annoying for me to say in like every video, uh, but a lot of you guys that watch my stuff aren't subscribed. So anyways, uh, getting into today's video, uh, before we even mention the three things that I truly think just make the C8 Z06 that much better than its regular C8 counterpart, I do have to give a quick shout out uh, two car and driver uh, simply like this article right here we're gonna do a quick like overview but I read it earlier today and it kind of inspired me to make uh, this video so essentially they did a little review of a C8 Z06 actually out on the e track obviously car and driver being a big company they were able to get their hands on it here's the actual video I'll leave the link to this little article down in the description below. So if you want to watch the video, it's a short like little 11 minute video, uh, but they go pretty in depth. And it, after watching it, it kind of further solidified my opinions on this new generation of the Z06. Now you can see right here that they've had a regular C8 for pretty much a year and put around 40,000 miles on it. And they were still extremely impressed with this new Z06. Now mind you, it was a fully specced out like Z06, it had the Z07 package too. So pretty much the best performing Z06 that you can get from factory. And down here, uh, this is one thing that I definitely wanted to talk about and it's actually number one on my list and it is the flat plane crank engine. Uh, obviously without that, without that flat plane crankshaft, which if you don't know what that means, essentially if you look at crankshafts inside of engines, uh, typically V8s in a lot of domestic cars and a lot of muscle cars, they have what's called a cross plane crankshaft, which essentially means that if you look at the crankshaft, uh, I guess vertically or horizontal, I think vertically, you actually get that kind of like cross figure because it's at like a nine, 90 degrees, whereas with the flat plane crank, it's basically just straight up and down. A lot of your exotics have flat plane cranks in them and that's why they're able to push out just that much more power and rev out to just a few more thousand RPMs. And right here in this section of the article, they outline it pretty simply by basically just saying that it's a five and a half liter V8 and it has an 8,600 RPM red line and it makes 670 peak horsepower and also that flat plane crank does produce a pretty awesome exhaust note. Again, this is things that we all pretty much knew already, uh, but I kind of wanted to repeat it because it's just that important and I just had to include it in this list. Now, number two for me at least, has gotta be the upgrades that they did with the interior. Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel, you would know that last summer, in the summer of 2021, I actually did a full review on a 2020 C8 Corvette. I believe it was a LT2 or like a 2LT, whatever the middle trim is for like the regular C8s. And I really liked it. Uh, I actually borrowed it from an Aston Martin dealership and I gave them a shout out in the video and everything. And they were all great, but they had it like listed for like 105 or 107. And to me, like that's just so overpriced for the car that it is. Now, if you can find a regular C8 for like 70 grand, or may, maybe even 75, that would be probably the limit for me. But like low 70s, I think they're pretty much pretty worth it. But uh, spending six figures on that car, I just wouldn't see myself doing it, uh, even if I did have the money to actually drop on, on a car. 
but yeah, the, it, one of the main problems that I had with that, and I say it multiple times throughout the review, is that there was just so many plastic pieces and sheet pieces throughout the interior. The overall exterior of the car, yes, I know it's pretty polarizing. Some people love it, some people hate it. But for me, I really liked it. I like these sharp body uh, lines. I really like the removable top. As a matter of fact, when I was driving the C8 in my review, I had the top off for the majority of that video. Uh, but when I was just kind of cornering a little bit hard or breaking a little bit hard, you would hear these noises and it was literally pieces of the interior moving. Like, I just think that the interior build quality was really not good. I think that the design is awesome with the center uh, like being really separated or the, the driver's seat being really separated from the passenger seat by this like nice big thing in the center, divider in the center with all the buttons there and everything. I think that the design was really really great and one thing that i really love about the different generations of the corvettes and even the supras if you kind of go back they're all very very driver focused which i really really like uh but it just it seems like chevy kind of just cheaped out with the materials that they used for the actual interior pieces which i'm kind of fine with i'm kind of okay with if you're going to look to you know bring the cost of the car down uh but when you're asking six figures for a car i would expect it to be a little bit better now kind of tying this all into the new Z06. The new Z06 has carbon fiber pretty much everywhere that the regular C8 has plastic, which I think is just so much better. Does it really take away that much weight? Is it really that worth it for the price of carbon fiber? Who knows, that's for you guys to judge. Uh, but I think that's, you know, at least for me, it definitely makes it worth it. Now, probably the last like little point here that I wanna talk about today in today's video has gotta be the fact that this new Z06 is really starting to rival modern exotics. Now, people have said that with the regular C8s, but they really, like, honestly, the experience that I got from driving that regular 2LT C8 Corvette, it was almost like driving just a mid-engine muscle car. Yes, it was balanced. Yes, it had the flappy paddles instead of the regular, you know, manual transmission, uh, but it still, like, felt like a muscle car, mainly due to that 6.2 liter pushrod can V8 in, you know, the back of, of the car. It still sounded like a Corvette, which was awesome. It still sounded like a Mustang GT or a Camaro SS or something like that. Uh, but honestly, like for the car, like so many people thought that it, you know, kind of looks like a cheap Ferrari or a, a cheap exotic. So when saying that, I just think that, you know, it, it needed something else. And this new engine, this new drivetrain really that is in uh, the Z06s is, is truly that. It's a naturally aspirated, very even, you know, power producing five and a half liter flat plane crank V8. It's not a very simple or like Neanderthal uh, V8, kind of how like that 6.2 liter is. It's not just regular overhead valve pushrod cam. It's actually, uh, you know, a, an updated engine, which makes the car probably feel just that much more awesome. Now, unfortunately, I haven't actually been able to drive a new Z06. So if you want to roast me down in the comments below, uh, feel free. Uh, but I did actually get to see one in person at the New York Auto Show earlier this year in April. And I have to say, just up close and personal with it, not even getting in it, not even driving it a single mile, I could tell that it's just so much better uh, than a regular C8. And quite frankly, listening to all the people that have driven uh, these cars, that's why I am kind of shouting out this car and driver article here in this video that they did. Uh, but listening to all the people that have driven the new Z06, uh, I can kind of take all their word for it. And it's definitely one of those cars that's kind of pu gonna push uh, domestic cars that much for further, like to just be that much better. And honestly, as someone he here in America who's grown up in America and who, you know, has a little bit of pride when it comes to domestic manufacturers and domestic vehicles, I think that it is not just awesome for GM and Chevy, but I think it's pretty cool for all the domestic manufacturers. But let me know what you guys think of this new C8 Z06 down in the comments below. While you're down there, again, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that little bell icon down there below to get notified every time that you guys post a new video. But thank you so much for sticking to the end of today's video. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.